channel and today I wanted to do a first impressions on the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and it looks like this. I have been in the market for, you know, a setting powder for quite some time now and I was looking through YouTube trying to see if there was any reviews on this or anything like that. I haven't seen a lot of reviews or first impressions so I thought I'd do that for you guys today and I've seen multiple people use this on you know YouTube just to name a few I've seen Dulce Candy you know use this I've seen Taki or formerly known as Glam Life Guru on YouTube use this but I haven't seen like an in-depth like first impressions or review or anything like that so I decided you know to do it for you guys this is the original formula and it's in the orange packaging like this and it's plastic so you can see the product inside this has been available on the market since 1935 so if it's been around that long it must be good um I like how, you know, you have the choice of naturally neutral, so if you want like that light but very, you know, soft and diminished, fine lines and things like that type of look, then this is a, you know, this is the one to get because they also had an extra coverage, so if you wanted to, you know, put an extra layer of coverage with, you know, on top of the concealer or foundation like that, they also had that option. This is not the fragrance free version, they do have a fragrance free version, I just didn't see it where I bought this. Now I did buy this in Walmart, this was $5.97, but online you can buy it, um, you know, if you don't see it in your Walmart, you can try it at Walgreens or CVS, or you can buy it online. Um, they do have it also in a cardboard type packaging, or you can do the plastic. What I like is that as a setting powder, you know, because that's what it's used for, you can use it as a setting powder or a foundation no matter what type of coverage it is and it has 2.3 ounces or 65 grams I've personally never seen a setting powder that offered 65 grams of product for such a you know a very affordable price now let's get into the you know first impressions so I don't know if you guys can see but I did I usually don't put this much you know concealer on but I really did like add a crap ton of concealer all uh, right here and right here you know on my eyes, my T-zone, and I did that specifically to see if this powder does not let the, you know, the concealer crease or anything like that. So, first off, you know, open it. It's nice, you know, tin, so if you wanted to pour it out, you can. I really do like how it comes with the powder puff, so if you wanted, you know, to take this traveling, you could, because it already comes with a puff. Now, right off the bat, it smells like my grandma it's weird maybe you know that's just, um that's how the fragrances were in the 1930s you know to the 40s and 50s but i automatically opened this and it had i just it reminded me of my grandma now i don't know if that's gonna last that scent is gonna last you know the whole day because i'm not trying to smell like a grandma uh, but we're gonna see and just see how it you know looks on the face now it does come with this sifter right here and there's really nothing on the lid. Maybe, you know, if you push it, you get some product out. Um, so I'm going to see if I can take off the tape. Because it does have a tape, you know, to hold it. So, if you wanted to keep the sifter, you can keep the sifter. But I'm just going to, you know, take it off and put it aside. Yeah, it's like really locked in there. Um, the only thing with loose powders, if you do take off the sifter, you have to be very careful when you open it, just because you don't want to waste product and you don't want to get it all over the place. So, jeez, they put like six pieces of tape on this. You're gonna watch me fight with some tape, so just give me a second. Alright, so I'm gonna very carefully try and take this off. Thing does not want to budge. All right, okay. So I carefully took it off, and that's what that looks like. And as you can see, it's filled to the brim with um, setting powder. Now, yeah, it still smells like you know straight up grandma. Now I don't mean to offend anybody that likes that smell, but personally, me, I don't care for it. But it looks very soft. If anything, it looks like you know powdered sugar. And when I'm touching it, it has the consistency or texture of powdered sugar and when I'm rubbing it through my hand it like automatically disappears so that's you know already a good thing that's showing that it will like just easily blend now they did have different colors also they do have like sand beige and other things like that but I just got the translucent one 
and I'm just gonna take a little bit of product with my powder puff and I'm really gonna you know like pat this in here and put it on my face just to see now I patted it like six times but you don't have to go that extreme so I'm just gonna dust it off it's getting everywhere okay now I'm just gonna apply it on my face and get a mirror and then I'm just gonna apply it on my t-zone now I'm just gonna really like you know add a lot on my face it's gonna look like I was doing drugs or something but I'm not it's just a powder as you can see it leaves a white cast on the face but I'm gonna see if that goes away with the blending Oof. I, just, I just can't get over that smell it's not horrible it's just I wasn't expecting a powder to smell like this but that's what you get when you buy something that's been on the market for since 1935 but it doesn't really bother me I like how soft and I don't know if you guys can see that but it automatically starts you know melting into the skin and it's definitely not making my concealer like all you know creasy or anything like that it definitely does not apply cakey and what I'm doing is I'm only using the tip to apply it and then I'm turning it around to you know push it into my face now so far I really like how it diminishes the um, fine lines under my eyes I don't have a lot but you know it's noticeable but I do like how it leaves so far I haven't even blended it fully I like how it leaves like an airbrush finish so that's you know really really good so I'm just gonna take my fan brush like that and I'm just gonna you know dust everything else off and like I said I put a lot you don't have to put this much but I just you know wanted to put it to the test to see that you know if it's super buildable which so far it is because I've already applied like two layers and it's not cakey it doesn't stick to any dry patches and you know it's really really flawless I don't know if you guys can see that but I don't see anything it really covers up the concealer and and it does leave like a a blurred effect of uh, fleck a blurred effect to like my um my acne scars and my blemishes like it's not super pronounced like it's not accentuating anything so if you have like problem skin or troubled areas and when you apply this powder it's definitely not going to stick or cling to anything um it really it's really nice i love the finish and i love how natural and flawless and airbrushed it looks and i do have some dry patches on my nose i don't know if you guys can really tell but it's definitely not sticking to it it's just my issue was the smell, you know, right off the bat, but as I blend it away, it definitely, you know, the scent fades, like, super quick. So, if you really don't like strong scents, at first, when you apply it on your face, you're going to smell it, but when you blend it out, it disappears, so that's good. Um, as you guys can see, you don't see any white cast or anything, it literally blended into my foundation color, which I like, because when I first applied it, and I applied a lot, um it left a white cast like it did in the beginning of the video but um it definitely faded and went away it doesn't have any like you know white shadows or nothing like that it looks very natural and very flawless and i love how blendable this powder is so that's what it looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and i'll see you in my next video bye